To measure the phase shift across any audio device, two probes have to be used, one connected to the input and one connected to the output, and then the two signals are acquired and compared for any phase shift. But before making any measurements, it's very important to compensate the probes so that when they are connected to the same point, they have zero degrees phase shift. So here, in fact, we can see such an example where two probes are connected to the same generator and we have a very low phase shift. But to illustrate how the compensation would affect this, I'm going to misadjust the uh, compensation on one of the channels. And now we can see here, for example, we've got three degrees of phase shift. And now I'll just readjust it back to the correct compensation. So we have a very low zero degrees phase shift. And now we are ready to go ahead and make some measurements on any audio system. The B probe has now been moved to the output of the amplifier and I'll change the uh, sensitivity now to 10 volts so we have a much larger signal. But now we can see in fact there is a phase shift between the input and output of the probes here and we can see we are now measuring uh, 4.8 degrees of phase shift. But the important thing was that we had compensated the probes initially as we could easily have had that error just due to a mismatch of the conversation, we should have given a 100% error in the reading.